this case design is dramatically different and very much a part of this construction. It, so it, I it find that very compelling. compelling. There's so many things that I think actually Bramon have done a good job on this. No one told surprise. me about the mirror polished underside of the logo. So this is... Bramon has entered the chat. Bremen have entered the chat, and it's, I'm it, concerned that you brought this out of a drawer that I didn't it's, know that it's, was It's there. my special drawer, I can't get Did this. Did you just get this delivered? Yeah, well, they're, 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 they're literally... I have never touched this watch. Okay, um, haven't you? Mm -mm. Okay, on, on the side of that, we can... Okay, go. so let, let's, let's see what you think. You, you've seen the press shots, right? Oh, have I? Uh, <laughs> oh, have I? Yeah. So this, this is the Bremen uh, Supernova. So this mm -hmm. is Bremen's first integrated bracelet watch. I, I, I want to see what, what Andrew thinks of, of this. Do you know, for me, this is the coolest thing, is pulling off plastic. It's, like, so satisfying. back back with plastic on, George. We, we, we have to be... This is, this is a retail version, so we have to be very, very careful with this. It's fine, I'll get my watchmakers to put, put some plastic Adrian, you put me on the spot, but I can roll with you. No, no, but, but no, no, it's, you're, you're not put on the spot. I, I, I want to understand what, what, what you think of this. We, we, mm -hmm. These guys aren't sponsoring us. We don't have to say anything. But well, firstly, the first thing I notice is the heft. Like, this is a really heavy piece. That head yeah. is very oh, thick. I like the two And it part has heads. that triptych, the triptych three-part case design. Yeah, three that part, is a, yeah. a Bremont signature. Uh, wow. That is definitely a more open case back. Like, they've got a real widescreen case back on the back is there. Is that movement? the full movement. It's, it's the new... It's showing it off. What are they calling it? The ENG H1 movement? Yeah, so H01 this is, or something like that. This is the, the new in-house movement. Yeah. Um, like made in Henley, made in England. But but I want Let you to check out the way that I assess it, because you sort of go through the haptics, like the mm -hmm. feels of it, right? Okay, so I own a fifteen five hundred, and I would say that this bracelet is almost identical in feel. Everyone lusts after the the Royal Oak. I've, I arranged the Royal Oak for um, a friend the other day. He received it and said, "I don't. This is so sharp. Mm -hmm. Like this isn't. This is nothing like my Nautilus." And I said, no, 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 it's not. That those facets and those those sharp edges are what gives the Royal Oak its like you can't have that and also have a super comfortable like in in finger rubbing experience. And I feel that same here. There is a sharpness there that probably comes from the, the sharp angles. Mm -hmm. I think obviously the bracelet, and again, I think what this demonstrates is how much of a game of inches watch design is, right? So obviously this is inspired by the Royal Oak bracelet design. It's the exact same sort of link construction. However, the width of the links is wider, therefore I give it a pass. I think the 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 evocation overall is of it's another mashup. I see the Vacheron Constantine overseas dual time in that uh, in that colorway with the black and the red. Mm -hmm. So I'm sort of reminded of that too. But where I think people who have criticized this watch from afar and, and looked at it purely in one dimension are going to be interested is that from where I'm sitting, this case design is dramatically different and very much a part of this construction. It's, so it, I it find is a that very compelling. complex case. It's complex and all you need to do, like what, what you've so got it, to realize it, it to sit, to is when, when people when people look at watches from across the room as opposed to on an Instagram picture, what you're looking at is this... Nice on the it's wrist. It's almost actually. sort of a... How would you say? It's like a sculpted out or yeah. carved out. Like, because the lugs are... It's almost like skeletonized lugs. Do because you know, for me, that reminds me of the um, uh, AP um, code... Code watch code where, when, when yes, they cut with, into the yes, case. With I, I, modular yeah. And, case. and yeah. the, you know, when we say it reminds us... There is something about this finesse of, of kind of just doing something that's cool. So look, I did, but to, I can't answer your question really economically. But what I, because I'm now seeing that there's mirror polishing on these kind of lug hoods. Yeah, they're actually hoods that there's there, there's no solid case. And so there's just a lot going on here that you don't see on an Instagram picture. I'm not going to defend this watch and say that I necessarily think it was so the best move from Breitling or the best model from sorry the Bremont. best move from Bremont or the best. Um, the best model I'm from Bremont. I love the Martin Baker and think that's enough for them to have a, an iconic um, potential. But look, see that. Look see, at there that you go. in the case. Yeah, look the, at that. The mirror polishing the on mirror that lug, polishing, that yeah. lug hood is really interesting. And then this middle case, it really raises a question: What is that comprised of? What is the the material of the middle case? It's it's, it's all it's all steel. It's, it's all a black steel. steel. Yeah, black steel. Yeah. But it's it's really interesting. But all of the interest happens, but not from here. From here, it's it is what it is, and you are. 
you know, obviously going to draw lots of comparisons. As soon as this watch starts moving, mm -hmm. my interest Comes level alive. goes through the roof. So th this is the second time that I've seen this now. I, I, I went to their launch event and uh, Did uh, you? In, in traditional... Um, see you yeah, we, we got pissed together. Yeah. In, in traditional... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you, you were NFI'd on that one. In traditional watch event style, the, the lighting was absolutely shocking at the event. And seeing it for the second time, I'm actually quite taken by the details on this watch. You know, the finishing is brilliant. And there's little kind of Easter eggs of finishing. I mean, this isn't a cheap watch. But if we get... See, the inner flanks of this bracelet... So the top side is heavily brushed. The inner flanks are highly polished. It's details like that which stand out as being pretty cool. I do prefer my heavy satin brush on the 15500. Like, that is... That make of, this, of the links, I love that. This really is too big for me, but it looks brush. great. On what it size looks, is your wrist? Seven. So mine, six. mine's six and a half, and I feel it, it doesn't suit my wrist. But on it you, suits you. I, I, that, I, that I think it, it. I think it really does. Now, but see, I, if I wore this watch, I'd kind of want to wear it like this. I'd want. I'd want <laughs> people to. I'd want to show just how. That's the thing to take it off. I think it's, yeah. it's, it. There's a talking factor with this. You're right about the event. The event, the lights were crap. Yeah, yeah. I, I couldn't know, get any, like any good content me, with this. For me, this, the, I, I took some photo, but it was also wrapped in plastic, so that's why I took it off. And yeah, yeah, now, yeah. this for me, that I like. Great. I like the dial design. I like. I, I, I know that you're saying about the black and red, but I've seen it before. But mm. I like it. I like the date wheel. Yeah, I love the zero show, two. The, the I love. Date was great. You know, there's so many things that I think actually, Bremont have done a good job on this. Yeah. Uh, you know, and and. The amount of critics that have come out on something like that, like they have, I'm, I'm, I'm going to bring another watch to this this party. Um, and let me just show how well this photographs, because I'm kind of enjoying this, to be honest, on wrist. But like, I'm from where I'm in looking, here. this, you know... You've, you've got one. Okay, well, yeah, look, I mean, look, that looks halo-y. Yeah, that looks great. Yeah, that, see, that looks amazing. That's just taken right now in, in fairly normal conditions, obviously. I mean, to be cool. fair, Marcus has, has hooked us up with some pretty tasty <laughs> lighting. Hasn't so, it? look, I, I'm... This is... But again, You're no one told me about the mirror-polished underside of the lug hoods. I, I didn't and notice it at, at the event. This is the first time I've seen that, and uh, it kind of highlights how watch brands need to get their events that would, that would be difficult to do. Like, you know how it's like polish, yeah. polishing... Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's, it's a nightmare, but that's where they've got their new CNC machinery, and honestly, that when you go around there... Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. These guys, these guys are really, they're not hanging around, they're doing it right. They're not here to f spiders, they're, they're here to actually. I know, and I, look, I, I do feel sad. I'm not sad, but I feel, look, in some ways you cop it. If you, if you emulate a design that, that is that obvious, especially I think they ask for trouble with the bracelet, and I think the bracelet isn't, that doesn't appeal to me. But the the head, I think, is because again, it's a little bit like the polished center links of the Chrono Master Sport from Zenith. You're poking the bear. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> Hi like there. and subscribe. Uh, we, we we watch that count and we really draw a lot of confidence and love from it. So thank you. Cool. Well, Rock and roll. All right. See you guys next time. See you next time. Take care.